Letitia Sharif is a musician from France. After releasing three studio albums and performing at major festivals across Europe, she spent some time checking out the music scene on the other side of the pond, traveling around the USA. The first stop was the Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. One of the amazing things about the Twin Cities is you can be in the heart of downtown one minute and a world away the next. Walking through beautiful tree-lined parks. Visiting the stunning 11-acre Minneapolis Sculpture Garden. Taking a bike ride along the epic Mississippi River. Or walking down the path to the breathtaking Minnehaha Falls. It's easy to feel inspired by the city. So many musicians and artists have come from here. But there was one artist whose Minneapolis roots ran so deep, he never left. No matter how big he got, Prince. Excited to be here? Yes, a lot. I feel lucky. A visit to his Paisley Park home and studios, a major reason to visit. So here we are in a space that celebrates Prince's incredibly successful album and film, Purple Rain. In front of you are some artifacts that were used in the film. The wardrobe piece that you're seeing here in the center is what Prince wore while singing Purple Rain yeah. in the movie. And of course, in that scene, he was also playing the White Cloud guitar. Yeah, it's so great to see that. And then the keyboard at the end, you can see when you take a look at the top, he also used it to dance on and jump off of because those scuff marks are still on the, uh, the keyboard today. So this next space is a room that celebrates Prince's second major motion picture. Uh, it's a film called Under the Cherry Moon. Leticia could hardly believe she was right there inside Paisley Park, witnessing all of this history. So now we're stepping into a really exciting room here at Paisley because it's one of the performance spaces. And on a really great night, you'd come down, you'd be hanging out, and Prince would be two feet in front of you doing his thing. And by the time you were leaving, the sun was coming up, and if you were lucky, he'd serve you some pancakes. You know, you never knew quite what to expect when you were here. Is there a lot of people coming here since this place is a museum? Yeah, I think for a lot of folks, it's really something special for them to come to Paisley and see where Prince created so many of the songs and albums that they've come to know and love over time. It seems to be a sacred place. Yeah, there's definitely an energy that still exists here. And it's very important to us that we're able to preserve what he did. Thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Next stop was Mickey's, the historic diner in St. Paul that's been in the same family for generations. Here you can have delicious pancakes and milkshakes, hearing about the diner's history. When I was a little girl and I saw movies in USA, I loved the idea to go to, in the diner, but we don't have diner uh, in France. We've been in a few movies too. Very own companion here. It's one. You did. You could uh, jingle few, all the way. Jingle all the way and Mighty Ducks, right? Mary was a big buddy of Arnold Schwarzenegger's when he did a program here. Yeah. She used to stand right here and he'd sit here and he'd, she'd cook him breakfast. Eric also told her about one spectacular local tradition. We have a winter carnival and the ice palace is a big deal in the middle of it. And they have a parade and everybody gets out yes. and it celebrates the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Nice to meet you. Now, one of the nice changes we get is you come to visit us. After the legendary Paisley Park, it was time to visit the ground floor of the music scene here. The iconic First Avenue. Huge stars, hometown heroes, upstarts for the next generation. Everyone Hi. has played First Avenue. Nice to meet you, Leticia. Welcome to First Avenue, 1937, an Art Deco building. It wasn't until 1970 that it turned into the nightclub and music venue that's really become a cultural center and landmark for Minneapolis yeah. in the music here. Like a monument. Yes, exactly. We have a lot of tourists and visitors that come to Minneapolis just to visit this place. We usually have shows pretty much every night of the year. You two, the Ramones, Ike and Tina Turner, Tina yeah, Turner. <laughs> Iggy and the Stooges, um, all genres really. Um, right on the stage, actually. And then, of course, this is where Prince performed during Purple oh Rain. Oh my God! Yeah, right dance here. like she let me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Later that night, she had a chance to experience the incredible Minneapolis nightlife. Minneapolis and its neighbor St. Paul, the Twin Cities. They've got everything from a legendary music scene and rich cultural life to stunning parks, lakes and waterfalls. One stop on your itinerary, two great American cities. Now that's a huge hit.